Mwah. What's up, party people? Welcome back to my channel. As always, my name is Wawa Sherry, and welcome back. Okay, so uh, my sister been really, really getting in my last nerve about story times. This is my very first story times. Okay, um, I don't know how this thing goes, but um, she was telling me a story. She was watching another YouTuber and telling me a story about how they almost got adopted and i'm like wait a minute the same thing happened to me the like very same thing and then like when she was going over the detail i was just like girl i almost got um sell to um sex trafficking and didn't even know it and she was just like that's a good story time okay so here is my story time how i almost got abducted so um when i was in high school i had joined otc Yes, surprisingly, for people who definitely know me know that I am a rebellious child, okay? Um, not known to follow the rules. I don't like when people tell me what they do. So it was very, um, very shocking for people to actually find out that, uh, sorry, hold on. Okay, found out that I was actually, um, sorry, you guys, this thing is, okay, we good? Okay, so um, found out that I was actually in ROTC. But I only did it because, you know, of my, you know, uh, uh, attitude and personality did not match. So I only did it for one year, my freshman year in high school. So with my freshman in high school, I was in ROTC and they expect you to do community service. So I went ahead in my community service. My parents dropped me off. Um, I did my community service because, um, you know, Haitian, they're so difficult. So I asked them, are they going to come pick me up? They were just like, well, I got to take you up. You better walk. You know, just... Making your life hard for no reason. So after my community service, I waited for like, I think at least an hour. And they never showed up. And you know, again, we Haitian. I didn't have no cell phone. I didn't get a cell phone until I was out of high school. Okay, so I, after an hour, I was like the only person, the only kid that was left. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to walk. So I started working. I started walking home. And um, this car pulled up beside me, and it was a couple. And it was just like, hey, sweetie, where you going? I was like, I'm going home. And it was just like, oh, we give you a ride. You shouldn't be walking by yourself um, in this type of weather because it was hot. And I was just like, no, it's okay. I'm almost home. I wasn't almost home. I'm lying. I was like probably at least two hours away from home because I was not walking fast. I was walking so slow. Okay, because I didn't want to walk to begin with. Um, so there was just like, yeah, come on, we'll give you a ride. Okay, everybody know your parents tell you, do not get in a car with people you do not know. Okay, I'm thinking that. The whole time they were here trying to offer me a ride. But again, I'm thinking like, okay, it's a couple. In movies, usually when somebody about to kidnap you, it's usually a man. And I'm like, it's a couple. Like, they look like husband and wife. I never have seen that, you know, a couple that's supposed to be, you know, I'm thinking in my head is this husband and wife. They have the kids on their own. They couldn't possibly do this. This couldn't be possibly be happening. So that didn't even occur to me. I just know that do not get in a call with stranger, but now I'm kind of conflicted because it's a couple. And then it was just like, yeah, where you going? I'm like, I told him my neighborhood I was going. It was just like, oh yeah, that's definitely where you stay at. Um, or daughter probably go to the same school with you. Do you know Keisha? Keisha is a very common name, but at the time, like, I was not thinking that. So I was just like, yeah, I know Keisha. It was like, yeah, Keisha go to the same with you. That's our daughter. We stay in the same neighborhood, so just come on, let's go. Get in the car. Now I feel pressure, and I'm like, okay, I know their daughter. I don't know their daughter. They give me a very common ass name, and I just believed it. And, but at the time, I was thinking, I know their daughter, so what's the worst that can happen? Um, and they live in my neighborhood, so no problem. So I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm thinking one more time. Let's just, you know, say no. I was just like, my parents should be um, picking me up. Um, they said it was coming. I don't know what happened. And it was just like, well, I'm pretty sure your parents wouldn't mind since we live in the neighborhood and our daughter go to the same school with you. So come on, sweetie, just get in the car. So I was just like, okay, my parents would have mind. They got a point. So as I was, they went ahead, opened the car door for me. And as I was getting in the car, literally one foot was inside the car, about to like get in the car. 
I heard behind me a beep. And for some reason, it was my parents that was behind their car. And I was just like, oh, they was just like, do you know this person? I was just like, yeah, those are my parents. And it was just like, oh, they seem at the time a little disappointed, but I thought they was only disappointed because, you know, after all that, you know, they didn't get the chance to drive me home as if, you know, these people know me. It was going to hurt their feelings if they didn't drive me home. But naive little girl thinking, oh, yeah, that's why they seem disappointed. She was like, well, okay, sweetie, we see you later. So I close the door. I say, um, thank you. This dress. Sorry. I say, thank you, and close the door and left him went to the car. But as soon as I got into the car, my mom asked, who was that? But as soon as I got into the car, I just felt that it was just like so wrong. I felt like what I was about to do was just like definitely wrong. So I lied to my mom and said, oh yeah, that was my friend parents. They was trying to offer me a ride home. And that was it. And I felt like so like the whole situation was so wrong that I lied to my mom. And at the time, that song that I never told anybody about the whole situation until probably like I'm out of high school second years in college or third years in college and somebody else was um saying um georgia because i live in georgia is the number one trafficking human traffic um, trafficking and i was just like what and that's when it was just like yeah um they usually adopt girls and then sell them and i was just like oh shit was I almost got abducted and didn't even know it? And then I told them the story. They was just like, oh, hell yeah, girl, you almost got abducted. And then the other day when my sister was telling me about some other story on YouTube, she was like, oh, yeah, it's usually a couple so you can feel more safe and you can trust them more. And I was just like, oh, yeah, that shit worked with me because I definitely, definitely trust them and was waiting to go in the car with them if my parents then happen to be behind the car at the right time i don't know if anybody here believe in god or whatever it is that they believe in but at that time and that day god was definitely looking out for me because i came literally this close if my parents did not come behind their car lord nowhere would i be today Lord know where would I be today, okay? So, um, that was the end of my first and ever story time. So, um, let me know what you guys think before. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Deuces.